morning, good morning, and welcome to Chicago's free virtual Financial Empowerment Summit titled Building Wealth Today for Tomorrow. I am Melissa Conyers Irvin, Chicago City Treasurer, and I cannot tell you how proud I am that we are all able to join each other this morning, although virtually. The role of the city treasurer has many responsibilities, but one that I cherish is the opportunity to meet with Chicago's residents, small businesses, as well as young people and provide them with the tools and the know-how to feel more empowered to take control of their financial futures. And that's really what today is all about. One of the first things that I want to say is really just how grateful I am for the support of Operation Hope and really helping us to put together this event on today. If you are familiar or unfamiliar with Operation Hope, I'd just like to mention that they are the largest nonprofit of financial literacy and economic empowerment services in the country for both adults and youth. Now we've talked a lot this year about civil rights. We know 2020 was a huge year in regards to those conversations. Well, Operation Hope talks about silver rights, which is the idea that free enterprise should work for underserved communities just as much as it works for the people who have always benefited. Because the simple truth is that if you were born into a family of means, Financial literacy is one of your native languages. But if you were really born in an underserved community or a family that struggled to have enough, you may never have learned the language of money. Because let's be honest, that's not always taught in schools. Operation Hope works to bridge the gap and disrupt poverty by giving people that it work with a sense of inclusion and the feelings of dignity that comes with knowing how to build a financially secure future. Feeling financially empowered really is something that is very important because in a year like this is doubly challenging. Look at how we're holding this summit. I mentioned that it's virtual. We know that it's virtual because we've been in a pandemic for what, nine months now? And at this point, I think that um, we all understand the devastating health toll that this disease has taken on our city and on our country. But some of us are more aware than others of the terrible economic toll that it has taken and it continues to take. So many people are out of work and struggling to make ends meet. Women have unfortunately left the workforce in staggering numbers because our children are attending schools online. And for some, it's quite difficult to balance work and parenting around the clock. Too many small businesses have closed their doors and up to 40% of black owned small businesses have shut down for good. That's a very alarming number. And the thing that you have to understand about struggles like this is that they have no boundaries. They reverberate through families, then communities, then cities and states. And they don't just affect what we can afford to do or plan for today or even during the pandemic. For a lot of people, these struggles will echo far into the future. And so here in Chicago, some predominantly black neighborhoods are experiencing unemployment about really above 30%. While white home ownership in our metropolitan area is at 74%, black home ownership is just 39%. And that was actually true even before the pandemic. We also know that white Chicagoans have credit scores that are an average 146 points higher than Chicagoans of color. And what's really detrimental is that that credit scoring system determines whether you'll be able to accumulate wealth in the future. But no matter what position you're in right now, you have a future to plan for and the decisions that you make today will make a difference for your future. And that's really the message of, of today. You have a future to plan for and the decisions you make today will make a difference. And that's really what this virtual summit is all about because at the end of the day, the pandemic will end. 
we're so fortunate hearing all the news about the vaccines being shipped. We know the pandemic will end. And so the question is, what happens next? And so we know that at some point, we will get back to normal. And you can make financial decisions right now that will set you up for a greater success when that happens. So that's why we're here today, because knowledge is power. And we're here to empower you with a lot of important knowledge. Today, you'll have the opportunity to attend master classes on subjects like credit building for individuals and families, financial planning for small businesses, wealth building through home ownership. Did you know you can build wealth through home ownership? You'll learn more about that today. Investing in the stock market. A lot of people hear about investing in the stock market, but really don't know how to even begin. We're going to talk about that today. And financial empowerment for you. So many of our young people plan to go off to college, don't really know where to even begin for financial assistance and financial planning. We are going to talk about that today. You'll also, um, during the noon hour, have the opportunity to hear from the CEO of, of Operation Hope, which is John Hope Bryant. And we hope you'll be able to join us back at that time as well. He'll share some truly inspiring words during his keynote address, and that will be at 12.30 p.m. to be exact, along with a major announcement, and I can't wait for you to hear about it. Now, if you ever watch CNBC, you might catch him on there, but today he is with us at 12.30 p.m., and we hope that you will join in. Now, before we conclude in, um, this portion and get ready for our master class, um, I really just want to talk briefly about small business owners that are here with us today. Chicago has an amazingly vibrant community of small business owners in each of our 77 neighborhoods, and they truly are the lifeline of this city. They provide jobs and valuable products and services. They anchor our neighborhoods and generate community wealth. But not only that, they exemplify the best of our city's innovative spirit and ingenuity. I'm always proud of Chicago's small business community, but I've never been more prouder than I am now these past eight months, nine months. Our city and country have been suffering through two crises at the same time. And these crises have been a really one-two punch for small business owners. First, the pandemic hit in March, and our entire economy seems like it just shut down. For many of you, that meant no more customers and no idea of when things will return to normal. And here we are today, still experiencing the same. My team and I at the Chicago Treasurer's Office have been laser focused on these problems for small business owners over these last few months. And while my responsibility as city treasurer is to protect taxpayers' dollars for the residents of, the, of Chicago, it's just as important to me to protect the financial health and futures of entrepreneurs. And many people are worried that their financial futures and the businesses that they work so hard to build are in peril right now. That's why my office is making it a priority to help you find every possible resource out there so you can weather this storm. Now, lastly, for individuals and parents who are with us today, I know this has been just as hard on you. Many of you are out of work or reduced hours. And as I mentioned, many women have unfortunately had to leave the workforce in order to be at home with their children. I know that so many families had plans to buy a house or take out a much needed vacation or take a much needed vacation or just keep building up the nest egg for retirement or kids college. And today, some of those dreams have truly been deferred because of the pandemic. Well, for the youth that are with us today, the young people, I, I feel like it's, it's probably more tough on you than any of us. And sometimes I think we overlook that because there are a lot of conversations taking place without the youth. When the pandemic hit, our youth had to stay home. They went to school one day and did not return. N not able to say goodbye properly to their friends and teachers. And some of them even graduated without a ceremony. Now, 
Today, we are going to talk about, as I mentioned, some financial planning and financial um, assistance for young people that are preparing for their future for their education. And so as I conclude here, um, I just really want to really thank all of you that were able to join, especially our young people who inspire me every day. They, they teach us on a daily basis and sometimes don't even know that they're doing it. And so today we hope that you have will learn and a lot of takeaway on today. We hope that you will be able to have a life-changing experience. Hopefully you'll be able to start the kickoff masterclass, which is at 930 with credit building for individuals and families. You're gonna hear from experts who will help individuals build their credit every day and have been doing it for decades. And guess what? You're getting this information for free. You're going to be able to hear um, from experts that are going to be able to give you some tips on this morning. And I have no doubt that when you leave today, you'll know some actions that you could take away with you to make a difference for your financial future. Now, before we break into our sessions starting at 930, I want to encourage you to um, network through the Whova platform. Now, this is a new platform for me. I don't know about everyone else that is on, um, but this is a really cool platform because we're able to um, communicate and network but we're also able to visit the exhibitors hall. I understand that the exhibitors hall will be open throughout the day, so you can jump in and out as needed. So be certain to attend that as well. And certainly please do not miss um, the Operation Hope booth in the exhibitors hall where you can start your credit journey today. There will be a coach there to be able to talk a little bit further with you. And we have one tidbit as well, Early Bird, which helps parents start investing even small amounts for their children's future is holding a session this afternoon. But anyone can visit their booth in the exhibitors hall and you will receive a $15 credit to start investing. So don't miss out. Now, for those of you streaming through CAN TV, as mentioned before, be sure to register at chicagocitytreasurer.com slash wealth summit to benefit from networking opportunities in the exhibitors hall. Again, thank you for coming. And I will be um, starting the master class, joining as well to here the 930. I know we have classes throughout the day. The entire agenda is on Whova. Feel free to attend them all, attend those that you can. And I especially hope you can join us at 1230 for the keynote address from John Hope Bryan of Operation Hope. Thank you and have a great morning and I look forward to this being a successful day. Hello, my name is Alicia Wood. I am from Salisbury, North Carolina and I am here to share my story with Operation Hope. Up until this point, I didn't realize how big of a deal credit was and what it meant for me. I've always was told, make sure you have good credit, but to what extent, I did not know, nor was I taught. So my main focus was mostly on making more money, working hard, and you know, buying up everything that you want. Um, but when I actually had the opportunity to connect with Alicia, with Operation Hope, um, she was my coach and she was amazing. She laid out everything for me. I asked her, I said, talk to me as if I'm an infant. Like I wanna know everything. And she did. And in myself, I'm very competitive by nature. So I challenged myself and began competing with myself in a healthy way that, wow, I can live another type of lifestyle by just doing this or rearranging my priorities and shifting my mindset, let me try this out. Um, and I did, and I had all the tools to help me succeed and win, and that's exactly what I did. And that's continue, continuing what I'm doing. Um, here we are, I've completed the program. I've been able to buy my own car with no co-signer, a low 
monthly payment as well as a low APR rate, which to me is a huge accomplishment. It might be small to someone else, but I embrace that because I'm like, wow, okay, what else can I do now? Um, just that excitement and that freedom that is starting to that I'm starting to see and I'm starting to live. I've been able to save more money and prioritize what's important and what can wait. Um, being on time with paying the bills and now understanding if you go behind a little bit, here's also the effect that it will have on you in a negative way. And now that has really shifted my thinking of, of my goals and my priorities and what I want to do. And I'm like, I, I don't wanna ever be in the red again if I don't have to be. So I'm gonna do everything that I need to do to stay in the green, to stay positive, and to continue to live how I'm, how I'm living now that is, for me at 26, very comfortable at least. Um, so to be 26 years old and can say that you're financially comfortable, huge accomplishment. I'm so appreciative of this program. I'm so appreciative of Alicia that she took the time to help me. And without getting too emotional, I even had, you know, my, my family is now a part of the program. And now I get to sit back and look at their success. And that is how I would, how I wanted to leave my um, impressions on people or whatnot, because I'm seeing the generational wealth begin.